Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. Today's topic, I'm going to tell you guys why your oil filter is leaking oil. Nowadays, most modern vehicle comes with a plastic oil filter housing. You must use an oil filter housing wrench and place it on top of the oil filter housing cap to remove it. If you do not use the proper tool, you can accidentally break the oil filter housing cap or strip the thread. When removing the plastic cap on the oil filter housing, make sure that the tool is properly aligned. If it's not properly aligned and you're at an angle, you can actually apply too much force in the wrong way and this can actually crack the plastic cap. Now the oil filter is off, you can inspect the inside. Make sure the threads are not stripped. Before you remove the old oil filter, make sure to mark it because it is possible to install it upside down. So I'm going to take this diagonal cutting plier and I'm going to nick it. So that's going to be the top part. If you have the standard oil filter, make sure to remove the uh, old seal on the uh, housing because if you don't, you're going to accidentally double seal it and this is going to cause the oil filter to leak oil. If you have the paper type oil filter, most likely it's going to have a housing that looks like this and there's going to be a large oil ring on it or seal. So you want to remove this giant o-ring and compare it with your brand new o-ring. So the left side is the old one and this is the new one. I'm going to take the new one and put it directly above it. Keep in mind that the old o-ring may be slightly larger because most likely it is stretched caused by heat. Now the new old ring is installed, make sure to inspect the threads. Make sure these plastic threads are not broken or stripped. Now take the brand new oil filter and compare it with the old one. Put it directly on top and make sure it's the exact same size and put it side by side and compare it. If your oil filter housing is dirty, you can always wipe it down with a shop rag or you can use carburetor cleaner, throttle body cleaner, brake cleaner, any cleaner will work. And just make sure the threads are super clean and there's no dirt on it. This part is the most important part. Make sure you go straight when installing the oil filter. Make sure the tool is installed properly and straight. Next, tighten it until you feel resistance right there. Once you feel resistance, just snug it a little bit and that should be tight enough. And make sure to inspect your work afterward i hope you found this video useful as always thank you for watching and subscribe to top 5 repairs